all right man so what's going on y'all welcome back to another reaction video today we're re reacting to pretty boy fredo's instagram live accepting ddg's boxing match. so i heard this was crazy i heard he said a lot of offensive stuff about ruby rose ddg dub which is his brother so we're just gonna hop into this man and see what this lit drama is about you feel me get it i accept it it's cool i want to do it man i've been in the gym let's do it I feel good. I feel good, but only under one condition. Now, I do not believe in giving niggas money that don't deserve it. He don't deserve a dime. He don't deserve a penny. Not one single dime for me. I don't I don't believe in that. And not only that, I feel like this will be an event that's not like Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, a little backtrack, all right? DDG posted yesterday on his Twitter saying DDG, I mean, saying Pretty Boy Fredo, box me, but for some money. Let's get a bag, right? He basically said that because I guess the winner of the fight gets the money, like you have to pay the other person. So Pretty Boy Fredo just showed he already thinks he's gonna lose this boxing match. Did you hear what he just said? He just said, I'm not gonna give money to someone that doesn't deserve it. Yo, bruh, I already got him. I already caught him already. I'm not looking at, like the first thing this dumbass nigga think money 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 like your your brain is fucking you're broken you're broken spiritually like it's the first thing you're thinking oh I swear like pretty boy Fredo is one of the biggest hypocrites on the internet and no I don't hate anybody on the internet but I call people out on true stuff like real stuff like first and foremost you have on a two tennis chains you bought a Lamborghini, you go on Instagram Live, like, flexing your Lamborghinis. Some of them are rented. Like, you flex your lifestyle. So you can't really say that. Like, you're broken spiritually, too, if anything. So y'all both broken spiritually. Don't say that about one person. Because, matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Let me rewind this shit back. You a cap-ass nigga. Because the only time you want to box is when it has to do or involve in money. I told you to pull up in July. I told this nigga way back in July to pull up. He never did anything. Never, never came, never responded. He read the message. He wrote back, never pulled up. Now that there's an opportunity for money, now you want to, oh, I, I want to box. I want to box. All right, all right, whatever. We can box. We can box. But I'm only going to box under one condition. All right? Yeah. It's just, bro, it's, it's truth. Like, the truth is in the pudding. When I told him to pull up, what? When, hold on, hold on. Look at the abs, man. When I told him to pull up, in July, on the house, like, I was going to give this nigga, when he got here, on everything I love, the moment this nigga got here, bro, I was going to give that nigga, I was going to give him that shit right then, right there. On a low low, like, no. Oh, yo, he said, I was about to give it to him. Yo, bro, he was on that smooth, Gio, run up, push him on the ground. Rustling tight stuff, bro. He was about to give it to him. That man forgot to say no homo while he was at it, bro. Yo, this is getting crazy, bro. Damn. No YouTube, no money, no monetary value, no nothing. You was going to get a free ass with me. Soon as you got here, he read my message. He knew what time it was. He didn't respond. Now, there, there's an opportunity for money. Now it's, oh, let's box for it. Nah, nah, nah. So this is what we're going to do. I accept your fight challenge, but only under one condition. If you beat me, DDG, which I doubt... If you beat me, all the money that if you beat me with goes to charity. All right. It doesn't. You don't deserve a dime. Highly doubt you're going to beat me. But if you just happen to beat me, all the money goes to challenge. Uh, all the money goes to charity. Now, if okay. I beat you, I just have one condition. I just got one condition only. One condition. I want something. If I beat this man, I don't even want money. <clears throat> I don't want anything that has to do with money. I don't want money. I just wait a second. So what does he want? Wait. What does he want? I just want, I just want one thing. That's it. What y'all think it is? What y'all think it is? If I win, I just want one thing. I just want one thing. What y'all think it is? I accept your challenge, but this is the one condition. It got to be it. You got to do this. Am I um, recording a YouTube video? Go in the living room, please. If you win, the money got to go to charity. We not. I'm not boxing the 
Put money into your pocket. You don't deserve it, bitch. You don't deserve a dime. You too money hungry. You fell off. You too money hungry. Now, if I beat you, this is my one condition. All right. If I beat you, I need, I need Miss Ruby Rose. I need her. And she got me and my whole team. She got to let me and my whole team run a train. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did he just say that? He did just say that, didn't he? conditions will i agree to the fight if you agree to it then i'll 100 do it if you beat me the money goes to charity if i beat you me and my team we get to run a train on your and we get to record it and upload it on only fans all right if you agree to that i'm 100 fighting you 100 million percent if you don't agree to that then i don't know what to say i don't know personally I don't want money. I I, I don't. I want to give fan, I want to give the fans something that they'll enjoy and cherish forever, honestly. And I think that would be perfect, my nigga. It would be perfect. Me and my guys, we get to run a train on your bitch. Other than that, let's do it. So y'all got it. Y'all got the stimulations. Y'all got the, you know, the rules and shit. I accept the fight challenge. Nigga told me I had 24 hours. Or what, nigga? What the fuck are you gonna do? Uh cyber bully me, nigga? Like, what are you gonna do? Like, holy shit, bro. These niggas is... So those are the stimulations, my guy. So if you got that, do it. If you with it, let me know. So y'all gonna let... Yo, I gotta say, bro. Pretty Boy Fredo's one smart dude, bro. Pretty Boy Fredo knows for a fact he don't want to fight DDG. He don't want to fight him. Like, DDG has a background in boxing, so he knows he's going to lose. So he included that offer and said, if I win, this must happen. And he knows DDG ain't going for that. Mark, yo, this man is a genius, bro. I'm not going to eat the cap. I don't like this dude at all, but I don't hate him. But, like, he got some brain cells up here. No cap. Let DDG know right now, Fredo accepts the, the, the boxing challenge. But if he wins, he gets to run a train on your bitch. All right? So just so I can say that all my niggas had it, too, because every nigga in Atlanta had it. Please stop kissing that. Please don't. Please stop kissing her. She's a daddy. That's it. Done. And the last thing, this is my very last thing I gotta say, bruh. Tough. Some of these niggas are fucking. Yo, what did DDG say in his song? That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Damn, bro. Wow. That's foul. Yo. But just imagine DDG, for some reason, does end up agreeing to this, bro. And he loses, and DDG loses. Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on. I, I'll be right back. <sighs> I had to turn on my light for this one. And he loses? This is going to be the biggest L of the century, bro. The thing about it is that this year, we done had crazy things happen. Like, crazy world events. Like, we've seen... Like, reacts, losing basketball times and times again. Like, it's been a terrible year. So, yeah, let's just continue. <laughs> let's keep watching, man. Fucking retarded, bro. I honestly, bro, I be reading some shit. I be like, bro, y'all niggas got to be the slowest niggas ever of all time, bro. I don't be thinking about these niggas all day long. Bro, I don't even think about this shit. Like, today, I'm like, bro, I don't even want gap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my top at? Where's my top? Oh, we're gonna use this as the as the uh cop. You know how he'd be like cap, cap, cap. That's the biggest cap I ever heard, bro. Whenever Pretty Boy Fred will be live, bro, he be say he be saying stuff like smoking that Pontiac pack. Yo, tell DDG to go get his girl. Like he just be wilding all the time. Like what are you talking about? Every time he's live too, brings up DDG's name. Whenever it's demon time. Oh, no. I don't even want to visit this shit. Like, I don't even want to think about this shit today. I didn't even think about this shit. I had a whole long day, whole bunch of different shit to do, bro. And motherfuckers is like, oh, you won't leave this alone? You won't? Nigga, I was not talking about this at all. This shit had not, bro. This shit had nothing to do with my day the other day. This nigga brought Jasmine into the shit and I responded. But somehow I'm still wrong, bro. That 
is fucking mind blowing to me. <laughs> oh my god! Like y'all got these like these tea pages and drama pages. Fuck! Like holy shit, bro! Holy fuck! I just be like, how fucking retarded are these? I just be thinking like, whoa! Some of y'all brains are delayed, bro, because responding. And starting and, and initiating is two different things, bro. I don't be sitting here just initiating shit with people. I don't even have drama with. I don't. I don't only have drama with a few weak, corny ass niggas on YouTube, and that's it. All right, so let's recap on how all this drama started. Like, low key. So he upload. Well, Pretty Boy Fredo uploads a YouTube video. It's like a smash or pass video. Ruby Rose's name is brought in it. Kennedy Simone is on the thumbnail. DDG reacts to it, thinking that it's a diss at him. Pretty Boy Fredo gets upset, goes on Demon Time, starts talking about everybody that's ever talked on his name, and that's where the drama is rebirthed. So really, in all honesty, Pretty Boy Fredo did kind of start it all and did initiate everything from CJ So Cool, Agent 00 not so much, but like DDG, like 100%. It's crazy. Yeah, DDG run it on Jasmine. Other than that, I don't have problems with nobody. Funny. I don't, bro. I, there's not one person I met in real life, other than that weak ass nigga that I have a problem with. You're like y'all have never seen that. Y'all have never seen me be a problematic or toxic person. Like I don't have what? Huh? Oh my god! No way he just said that. Me be a problematic or toxic person. Like I don't what? You leaked Jasmine's number. You're always in some drama. You're always on demon time. You make your SSH members go through. How can I put this? Hell, like, what are you talking about in your videos? Just to be an SSH, you gotta do the worst of the worst, the craziest of the craziest. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, you do a lot of good, but you also do a lot of bad, and it just cancels out. Like, you're just a bad person. That I see. Like, you're not one of those inspirational people like FaZe Rug or Mr. Beast. I just don't see that in you. Well, it's these negativity all the time from you. Change your ways. But anyways, I'm not going to watch the rest of this. If you want to watch the rest, search up the title and y'all can see it for yourself. But anyways, hopefully y'all did all enjoy. Drop a like, subscribe. But until next time, it's been your boy Morpheus Vlogs and I'm out.